And we're back. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. So, I'm drawing in my book again. I don't know if you've noticed, but I usually try to alternate the videos I upload so that I don't upload two videos of the same type in a row, like a drawing in my book video, and then an overcoming artist block video, and then maybe another drawing in my book video, and then a drawing on a skull video, and so on, and so forth, like that, ad infinitum, into the sun and back again. But here we are. Look at us. We have two drawing in my book videos back to back. And that's really all right, I think. I wanted to make another video, and I just, I just wanted to draw in my book. So that's what I did. It's not often we have the luxury of being able to turn down artistic urges. You've got to take full advantage of them when they present themselves. Don't treat them gently either. Drop everything and draw. So, in the previous video I uploaded, I mentioned that I wanted all of you lovely, lovely subscribers to start submitting some questions for me to answer or topics for me to talk about in my real-time videos so that I would have some material to speak on. I said that you could post these questions in the comments of any of my videos and that all you had to do was have the word vidmail, that's V-I-D-M-A-I-L, all one word in your comment, um, and it would qualify. That way I could just search for them in my email inbox when the right time came for me to make the video, and I would have them all right there in front of me. So, you know, I've been really pleased with the response so far. There have been a lot of uh, really great questions that I'm looking forward to answering. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll probably make the first video soon. I'm just waiting a little longer to give you a little more time to ask a few more questions. My sister Amy even commented on the last video and asked some fun questions, and she brought up a good point. Some of you had been asking questions that could have been answered with a simple yes or no, but it'll probably be better for everyone involved if you ask questions that are a little more open-ended. Um, even so, I'll do my best to elaborate on the yes or no questions because I'm a cool guy. You know. So, about this drawing. I drew a tree, as you can see. Also, I drew some stuff in the background. It was fun, and it was soothing. I think this drawing took about two hours. I used a .3 Kuinor pen. I'm still not sure if I'm saying that word right. Um, it's spelled really weird. I've had these Kuinor pens for quite a while, but I don't use them very often for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. They're certainly a very different drawing experience than the Copics and Pigma Microns that I usually use. They don't have a felt tip like most of my other artist pens. Instead, they have a completely metal tip with this odd little mechanism for releasing ink. It's weird at first, but you can totally get used to it. You can get used to anything. Uh, these Kuinor pens are probably also the most expensive pens I own. Uh, I think on Amazon, for the pack of seven, they are $100. I don't know if I paid that much, but, I mean, that's pretty expensive. Pretty crazy, but they are also extremely nice pens. Plus, they have replaceable parts, if you can find a place to buy the parts. Also, I just kind of have a weak spot, um, a penchant. For nice pens, especially expensive ones. Anyways, so thanks for watching. Leave your comments and your vidmail comments below. Bye for now. See ya.